section the title is Angels Will Be Singing. I was so lost to be Sister Carolyn Davis. <laughs> Yeah. 
angels will be singing when I get home. And that's what we are preparing to go to another home after we, our life is over here, I got another building. I got a home. And when I get there, I'm happy I will go. Thank God for that. At this time, we're going to bring to you our secretary, Sister Dunn, is coming to us with our weekly calendar. Wednesday, 7 o'clock Bible study, 8 o'clock evangelistic service, Friday, 8 o'clock prayer service. Sunday, 10 o'clock Sunday school, 11.30 morning worship, and 6 o'clock evening service. If anyone is interested in attending our service on Sunday and need transportation, please feel free to contact our pastor, Bishop Frank Downs, at 771-6194, that's 771-6194. Or Sister Juanita Franklin at 771-3562, that's 771-3562. Or Sister Glendora Cornus at 821-5105, that's 821-5105. And they will be more than happy to arrange for someone to come and pick you up. Thank you. Amen. We'll have another selection from the choir. The title is Holy One. Our soloist will be Sister Vanessa Vanden.
Deacon Downs. He's coming to us in prayer. We're praying for the sick and I was shut in this morning. Father God, we come at this moment, our Father, thanking you for last night lying down this morning horizon. Realizing, Lord, it was you that touched us with the hand of love and we was able to say good morning to our companions and go about our daily occupation. Father God, we thank you, our Father, for the sick and the afflicted that's still among the living, our Father. Father God, you know the whereabouts of each and every one of them, our Father. Father God, they're calling on your name, our Father, for the touch, our Father. Touch them, our Father, and make them ever withhold, our Father. Oh God, we petition them, our Father, this evening, our Father, that you are the giver, our Father, and not the taker, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for those in the hospitals, our Father, nursing homes and other diverse places, our Father. You know the whereabouts of each and every one of them. Our Father, you hear they cry, our Father. Father, we petition you as we would our Father in earth, our Father. Asking for the things that we need, our Father. You said you would supply your every need, our Father. Oh, Father, you would open doors for us, our Father. You would go before us, our Father. Regardless of what the condition may be, our Father. You are the answer. You have the answer, our Father. Father God, and we will only put our trust in you, our Father. We know, our Father, that you are able to supply our needs, our Father. Father God, you have never failed, our Father. And you won't fail, our Father. Father Father God, we ask that you put God first, yes, put him in your heart, our Father. Yes, Can what you each and every day. Yes, our Father, you can't do nothing without him. Yes, Father God, we ask that you bless the minister, yes, our Father, and let him down in your anointing. Yes, 
Father God, we ask that the doors can be opened up, Father, if we will only kneel and ask God first. In Jesus' name. Amen. The choir will come with a selection, You Can Depend on God, a trio. Amen.
is good to have. But he won't do it. Amen. That right? Religion won't do it. Amen. We need a personal experience. We need a Holy Ghost, a Holy Ghost feel. Amen. In order to get on our knees and ask God into the situation. Because anyway, won't do. I thank the Lord for that song. All the songs was beautiful. Every last one of them was a message in itself. But that song, you can depend on Jesus. I was in the barber shop on yesterday. The question came up. Why is the visible church is in the such a condition? Amen. And I'm saying sin is the cause of it all. Is that right? Amen. Nothing but sin. Amen. Amen. Because when people get converted and get saved, amen, there ought to be a change in their life. Amen. And you not, cannot take a church and turn it into a club no. and think God's going to be there because he won't. God looking for a temple to dwell in. He does not dwell in mortar and brick, but he dwell in, in you. And if you got God in you, God is there. I don't care if you spend a million dollars for the church, for that mortar and brick. If God is in there, it's just a club. That's right. Shaking hands won't get it. Uh-uh. It won't get it. Amen. It won't get it. Amen. You need God in your life. You need Him to sanctify you. Give your mind to want to be separated from the things of the world. In the world, but not of the world. The reason why our schools are in the condition they're in, they took God out of it. All right. <laughs> Amen. That's when the dope, that's when the whiskey, that's when the everything walked into school. It's when they took prayer out of school. And if you want to get the school in order, you got to put God back in it. Amen. Anything we take God out of is going down. It isn't supposed to work. It is not going to work as long as God is not in it. If we take God out of our government, we are going down as a, as a country. But as long as we keep God in it, amen, God is going to be on our side. Amen. I praise God for that today because I found out without God, I am nothing. Amen. 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 Without God, I'm nothing. With God, without him, I would utterly fail. Amen. Amen. It's through him and in him. I am what I am. Amen. If you are anything, it's going to take God to do it. Amen. Education won't do it. Amen. They tried that. And they found themselves still in the same fix they were in before they decided on education. Amen. Letting people do their own thing. That won't do it either. Amen. That won't do it either. We need God in everything that we do. We were designed to serve and worship God. That's what we were designed for. Before the foundation of the world, we were designed to worship him and serve him. But we know because the fall of our father Adam, we wind it up in sin. But it takes the grace of God, amen, by faith, to make us what the Lord will have us to be. Amen. I'm glad today because the Lord is real. Is he real? The Lord is real. And what I'm talking about, it works. I had a chance to witness to him yesterday and tell him nothing's going to work but God Amen. and God's way. 
I don't care how you do it, you wasting your time. And you know the Lord just sell a quietness over that Bobby shop. Amen. And let the word go through. Amen. I very sorry I have a lot to say. But last night and yesterday the Lord gave me a chance to witness to the whole group. And let them know it takes God. Amen. I don't care what you do. I don't care what kind of laws you pass. Unless the heart of a man is changed, he's still the same thing. He needs his heart changed. Not a law written down. He needs his heart changed. And without the heart change, you can write all the laws you want. He's still going to do what he want to do. But when you get your heart changed, amen, when you get your heart changed, amen, desire is gone. The want is gone. Amen. God has done a new thing in your life. You can tell the world I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. And that's what it's going to take, saying. Because the people are disturbed everywhere. In all the modern brick churches, they are disturbed. Amen. Why? Because God is on his way back. Amen. He's trying his best to get a people, amen, that he can take back with him. Because he said, I'm coming for a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Amen. God is coming. But he's not going to pick up everything. Amen. All he's going to pick up is those that have made themselves ready. Hallelujah. To go to a ready heaven. Because he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And I'm coming back again. And I'm going to receive you until myself. But he told us what we have to do in order to be able to go back with him. And I'm telling the world. I'm telling Cincinnati the day you got to be born again. Amen. Born of the water yes. and of the spirit. Yes. Amen. You must have Jesus in your life in operation. You cannot practice sin and go to heaven. Yes. Amen. They're talking about we all have. I say, yeah, that's a past tense. Yeah, we all have one time. But honey, I told him, I stood up and said, I don't practice sin. Amen. Amen. I don't practice sin. Amen. Amen. Whatever I find out the Bible said, don't do it, I, I won't do it. Amen. Hallelujah. The world needs to know that. The church of modern brick is not going to get you saved. You need a personal experience with God. And when you get it, it'll work. Can I get an amen? amen. Do you believe it works? How many of y'all really know it works? Amen. You really know it works. Amen. I want the world. I want Cincinnati. Amen. Everybody listen at me. Because folks are in a predicament. Folks are hurting. They're hurting. They're trying everything. And everything they try to get deeper and deeper in the mark and in the clay. In sin. But I want you to introduce you to a man that I know. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. He came to save you from your sin. Yes, he did. I told him if he couldn't save from sin, then whatever he done was in vain. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. That's what he came for. Is that right? To save us from sin. And I want you to know you don't have to sin anymore. Amen. Amen. You don't have to sin no more. God made it possible that we don't have to sin no more. Talking about eating a whole lot, you don't have to eat a whole lot. You don't have to do it. So we ain't going to use that for a cop out. Amen. The people sin when they eat too much. Well, you don't have to eat too much. God give you sense enough to get up from the table and walk away from it. Amen. You know the thing they use it nowadays to try to condemn holiness. But you can't condemn it. It's real and a work all by itself. If nobody lives holy, it's still right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's still right. If nobody lives it, it's still right. It's still right. It's still right. And it's the only thing that's going to work. 
Amen. I said the only thing. You're wasting your time. Try to do something else. It's the only thing that's going to work. It's holiness. Oh, I wish I had some witness today. That's the only thing that's going to work. Amen. You might as well tell the folks on your job when they come to you, honey, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right. When you're shopping, honey, they're all confused. They're looking all wild and silly. Amen. Tell them God is the answer. Amen. That's right. You shame. Some of y'all shame. Some of y'all shame. Amen. But God is the answer. God is the answer. When your mother don't do right. When the father don't do right. When the husband and wife and children don't do right. Christ is the answer. Amen. You believe that? Christ is the answer to every problem and every situation. He is the answer. Amen. I'm glad I found that out. And I don't waste my time anymore looking for nothing else. Because it won't work. It won't work. Somebody sitting up right now trying to find, go around what the Bible says. But we sang a song, God's got a way. And you allow me to say God got the way. Because it's the only way. You can't go over. You can't go under. You can't go around it. You've got to come in at the door. Amen. And he is the door. Amen. No way you can get to the Father unless you come by the Son. Amen. Can we say amen? amen? I thank the Lord for that today. And I mean to let Simpson out of nothing. As long as I'm on this television, you can't make it no other way. Amen. You need Christ in your life. We know that everybody cannot belong to un come under one roof. We know that. But God broke down the wall of petition. Didn't he? Yeah. And man is coming along and building some walls up. But honey, they're crumbling. They're crumbling. They're crumbling, honey. They're crumbling. Amen. Because God did not design his body to be divided. He gave us one spirit, not two, one spirit. Is that right? One spirit. And everybody that has that one spirit, we need to come together. Amen. And I think it, and I talk it, and I preach it, and I live it. If we want to affect the world, we must come together. Because the Lord prayed the prayer in the Gospel of St. John. Lord, make them one, even as we are one. Is that right? God wants us to be one. I don't care where your name is. And we can be one in spirit. Is that right? We only have one Bible. We can be one in the Word. Is that right? If man leaves his little, little mind out of it and just take it for what it's saying. Amen. We can be one in Christ Jesus. So I don't want you to be deceived. Those of you who are taking time out to listen to me, and I know you listen because you tell me all the time. And I'm going to tell you the right way. Amen. You go along with me in the scripture, you find out that I'm saying what the Bible says. I don't have any other books up here but the Bible and the Lord to guide me. So you pray for the message. Amen. You find me going to the 19th chapter of uh, I ask. Amen. I do want you to pray that the message will do what the Lord would have it to do. He said, my word is going out. And it will not come back a void, but it will accomplish that he sent it for. And if just one person out of this broadcast will find the way, we have accomplished something. That's right. Amen. Amen. We will have accomplished something. Because the Bible said this way is narrow. And a few. Only a few is going to find it. Is that right? Amen. Can be billions and billions and billions of people. But still only a few is going to find it. And that's the one that will humble themselves. And say God I don't know. You got to teach me. You got to show me. And if you get that attitude. The Lord will show you what he wants you to do. 
Amen. The second chapter, I mean the second verse of this said chapter said, And he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believe? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto John baptism. Then said Paul, John barely baptized with the baptism of repentance. Said unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Christ Jesus. The scripture said, and when they heard this. Huh? When they heard this. Amen. They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul has laid his hand upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Amen. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? There's a lot of good people that really believe in God. Amen. There's a lot of good people who have some good intentions. But without the Holy Ghost, there's no way that you can have power. Amen. Amen. There is no way you can have power to live right. Because the scripture said, after. Is that what it said? After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. What do he say? You shall have what? But he said after. So you don't have no scripture from the word of God that you have power over sin. You don't have power to resist the devil. You don't have power to live a saved life. So many people say, if you fool with me, I'll roll up my sleeve. I'll put my salvation on a shelf. But see, when you got the Holy Ghost, your Holy Ghost won't let you do that. Amen. It won't let you even think that. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Because we have learned that Christ is the answer to every problem. Amen. We sing a song sometimes, if I hold my peace. Hold your peace. A lot of times the devil says, say this and say that. But it comes a time you got to hold your peace. Yes. You may be right in what you are thinking. Yes. You may be right what comes to you. But it comes a time you got to hold your peace. Yes. And let God do it. Because he can do a better job. Y'all believe that? Yes. He can do a better job. A lot of times you say, well, I'm talking the truth. And I'm, well, a good, sometime it comes a time that you got to hold your peace. We'd like to thank you for joining us here at Brass Temple. We surely hope you enjoyed our service. To correspond with Ella Frank Downs, we ask you please write Brass Temple, Church of God, Milton Kilogram of Truth, located 208 Local Street, Lockland, Ohio, 45215. Juanita Franklin, Secretary, Music Director, Jenny McLeod. This program was produced and directed by Randall Vanderveer, photographer Dwayne Anderson, Cheryl Hampton, Craig Gorn, and Donette Strauss. Audio engineer, Robert Strauss. We'd like to invite you out to our services here at Burns Temple. We have Sunday school every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, 11.30 morning worship, and we do our telecast and our evening service at 6 o'clock. 
Wednesday, 7 o'clock Bible study, 8 o'clock evangelistic service, and 8 o'clock evangelistic service on Friday. So we're praising God daily here at Breast Temple, and we would love to have you in the midst of us. This is Randall Vanderbilt speaking behalf of the staff here, Elder Frank Downs and our family. Until we meet again, may the Lord watch between me and thee while we absent one from another. Amen. This has been a Versus Temple production. Nominees for religious broadcast are Second Community Baptist Hour, Eldred Bishop, producer. The Joy of the Lord, Jim Hazlitt, producer. Burris Temple Church of God, Randall Vanderveer, producer. And the winner is Burris Temple Church of God, Randall Vanderveer. First of all, I'd like to thank God for giving me this opportunity to stand here before you today. I'd like to thank all my staff at Bears Temple and all the programs I produce for the Religious Access Channel, and my lovely wife for her patience and understanding in doing this. You know, once upon a time, the only time you can hear the gospel in Cincinnati on TV was at 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday before everybody get up. But I thank God for Warner MX Communication. They have gave us the opportunity to hear the gospel on TV 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I'm glad they let this be a part of my ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Community Programming Board, WCET TV, the Norwood Cable Television Access Board, the Intercommunity Cable Regulatory Commission, the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce, and the Cincinnati Cable Access Corporation.